start to get into a position where like a normal straight couple it looking like okay are they about to kiss so they doing this little slow and i'm like i know they ain't about to kiss first a parent was gonna walk in or something i was like they not about to let these two little boys kiss on the show girl they kissed that's tasha that's steph let's go ahead and fill in the rest we gonna eat a little drink a little our story time is the best have you lol when you click play no this ain't no click back <laughs> the video's already started, so I hope you keep that in. <laughs> y'all see how silly she is. Ooh. Here you go, baby. Y'all, I am so hungry because I just watched Tasha eat a delicious looking seafood boil. And it's 3 o'clock, y'all. Okay, I'm hungry. It's my first meal, and I'm ready to smash. Okay. Thank you for what be here. If you like our channel, check us out. Oh, no, if, you're, if you're new here. See, this is not my part, y'all. It's my baby. Here, check us out. See if you like us. Subscribe, comment, and like the video. And if you've been here before, welcome back. So today, y'all, I'm eating a whole entire chicken. Period. Watch. I got a rotisserie chicken, though, y'all. And we got some salad and some mashed potatoes and gravy. Okay? Very simple. This is like a caveman meal. And I'm about to do it. Okay? Oh, and we also have a topic that we share with you guys on the community post. So, we're going to see what y'all thought about it. And we're going to just discuss this. It's going to be interesting, y'all. Okay? You ready? Let's get into the video. You hungry? Yeah, I'm hungry. I can't really think good yet. I need to eat. Yeah. Okay? Eat some food, baby. All right. Take a picture with your chicken. Shit hot. <laughs> oh, I can't even do it good, y'all. You got it. Mm. Mm. I cannot wait, y'all. Now, this is from California Chicken Cafe. It's rotisserie chicken, y'all. And I told them I wanted it well done and juicy. So, we're going to see what they look beautiful. Okay? And it's falling off alone. I am hungry as heck. I got a couple. I got some sauces, y'all. I never get sauces from there, but I want to try them, though. Mm. Oh, good. Mm-hmm. Mm. -hmm. mm. Mm -mm -mm. What oh. sauces did you get? This is red salsa and that's the green verde. That's you gonna dip your chicken in that? Yeah. I mean they what did they have it for? Uh, All they know. sell is chicken. Oh. Yeah. So I was like, let me try it out. I'll probably get some um use some tortilla shells later for the rest of the chickens. I ain't about to eat this whole thing, y'all. And like just dip it in there. Mm-hmm. I get a pollo. Ooh. Oh that's good. Really? Mm-hmm. Oh, that's good. Mm-hmm. It tastes like what you want El Pollo Loco to taste like. Okay. You know what I mean? Mmm. I also got some lemon here, y'all. Now, if I was not doing a video and I was just like going to make this for myself, I would drizzle this in lemon and some rosemary and stick that shit right back in the oven for a little while. That's what I used to do with my rotisserie chickens. Whew. Now, I made myself a homemade salad here. It's just um, butter, lettuce, spinach, cucumbers, tomatoes, carrots, and some croutons, y'all. Mm. Oh, it's hot. It's hot. Mm, hot. Mm. Mm. It's hot as hell, y'all. Which I'm happy about. Postmates. Actually, actually, that's because I got DoorDash. Exactly. It's still, you see this thing, y'all? If it would have been for Postmates, it would have been cold as heck. They've been playing lately, y'all. Mm. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Are you happy you didn't eat any of my seafood? Yeah, now I am. I was very sad watching her eat the snow crab, y'all. Just like mm. she gonna be sitting there watching me eat the. Oh. It was too hot. Oh. <laughs> it was way too hot, y'all. Let me put some of this gravy on him. Mm. I don't know how the hell potatoes stay hot so long. Mm. Well, yeah. You can make some potatoes and three days later, they're still gonna be hot. Right. If you have them in a nice container. In container yeah. yeah. Mm. You guys, I just ate, but I really want some of that chicken. <laughs> oh, it's so, so good. It looks good. So, what are we going to be talking about today, you guys? I put something on the community post and did a poll for you guys. We're going to see what y'all felt about it with y'all comments also. But I'm going to talk about it a little bit first. And y'all going to see what me and Tasha think about it. Um, okay. So, this topic was inspired by... A show that I just started watching called Chucky, y'all. Okay. Chucky the series. Now, 
for the older people, y'all know this was a movie before that we loved. And I can't believe they even tried to do a series off of it. I was like, okay, the only reason I played it, because I was like, let me see how stupid this is about to be. Mm -hmm. I thought that it was going to be very dumb. Mm -hmm. When Stephanie turned to it, I was like, okay, this me is too. something she's going to be watching by herself. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. I didn't even think I was going to watch it. But I just wanted to see how stupid it was going to be. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? Mm -hmm. Girl, I done watched six episodes, y'all. And really enjoy it. Yeah. <laughs> it's actually, uh, it's entertaining. Mm -hmm. The one thing I love about Chucky, period, you know, even the original, is that he is funny. You know what I mean? I like yes. that he's humor, hum humorous. Yes. A humorous murderer. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but still. Mm. Well, let me get a little more eating in, y'all. Okay, mm -hmm. while Stephanie's doing that, you guys, um, I was going to go look at the community post, and then I found myself scrolling through YouTube looking at... <laughs> different videos with the volume down sorry mm. really very good. hard if you got work to do do not go on youtube Don't ever just do your work first oh y'all y'all can't even see how good this thing is tearing up off of this i'm tired of green sauce oh sorry babe sorry <laughs> Don't mm. 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 wow I didn't even know they had good salsa, y'all. Mm. I got two forks over here. <laughs> yes, I'm using them both. Ain't no wrong with that. <laughs> using one for your mashed potatoes. Show mm -hmm. y'all. Mm. Ooh. Mm. You over here being extra. You making it look good. Mm, yeah. It is good, and I'm hungry. I want both of my wings, too. Let me try to cut this one good, like. Wings are normally cut. Let's see if I can find that. Just fall off. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. You know, I'll finish it. Mmm. Can I have a slice, baby? Once yeah, you, yeah. yeah. Once you eat. What you want? What's what piece uh, you want? The wing. This one. This. One? Yeah. This the one that I should put myself. <laughs> No, <laughs> nah, I'm just playing. I don't want the wing. Just a piece of chicken. Okay, I'm gonna give you a piece that I really like. Another piece I really like, which is yeah. the thigh. I don't care. I just want a small <clears throat> slice. I don't want. I'm full, very full. I just want to eat it. Here you go. Thank you. This, this one, I like this better. They're both good though. Thank you, Paul. Mmm. It's good, huh? Mm -hmm. It is good. Mm. Sorry, mm. y'all, if I'm going to be a little savage, but I'm hungry. Oh, wait. I mean, this rotisserie calls for savage. That chicken is soft. It's soft and good. Mm. How's that mashed potato? It's good. I actually like it better without the gravy, so I'm mad that I poured it on there. Oh, okay. But, it's too good. You want some? Nothing. All right, so Chucky, y'all. Then how it inspired my community post. So, there's a, guy, a boy. He's 14. He's the one that finds the Chucky doll. Now, at first I was like, why they got this old ass kid with this big ass doll? But they made it make sense because they was like, he's into like retro stuff. Like retro films. And he's also into crime and stuff like that. So, he, um, he does art with dolls and different things. So it, made, it didn't make sense. It didn't seem silly. Anyway, he, I don't know if they make it, he doesn't say that he's gay, but he ends up, they they make references to kind of like make you feel like he's gay. He never denies it. He never denies it. His cousin kind of teases him for it. So you're getting the vibe that he is going to be gay or something's going to happen around this, the fact that he might be gay or something like that. He ends up getting close to another boy. Who's into crime and all that stuff too. So that's how they kind of really connected. And you can tell that the other boy is having a crush. Starting to have a crush on the main character. Mm -hmm. But I'm like, am I tripping? Or is this other little boy gay too? Or gay or whatever. Because they don't really, it's not obvious y'all. But it is, you know what I'm saying. No one ever says that they're gay. Right. That's what it is. No one ever said they were. And he's not making blatant like. 
mm -hmm. not blatantly flirting with him at all, but you know, little eyes and mm -hmm. just the way he kind of admires him a lot. Mm -hmm. Whatever. So I guess like, what's the episode today? Probably like episode like four, four maybe. Mm -hmm. Okay. Around episode four. So spoiler, if you guys want to watch it. Oh yeah, it's gonna be a spoiler now. They go through something together, and I guess they're kind of like bonding over that. And he grabs, goes to grab his hand. And I'm like, what? Because they're showing the straight kids like hugging, kissing, and mm -hmm. doing a little bit more. Yeah. But I'm like, I know they ain't about to do no gay shit. Mm -hmm. They ain't about to let these two boys do nothing. When they let them hold hands, I was shocked. Shocked but happy. Because I feel like all the little gay boys and maybe even some gay girls need to see it being okay. You know what I'm saying? To have a crush on what they're going to have a crush on. You're not about to stop nothing from not showing, you know, them how they, you know, what they are. Something that they can relate to. Exactly. You're not stopping you, anything. And, and uh, TV is not going to make your child be gay. Mm -hmm. it, period. It's not. If it was, we'd be straight. Right. There would be no gay people if kids were influenced like that. Well, if it was, I'd be a murdering taxi driver. I'll I mean, anything I watch, I'd be a clown that kills people. Anything. You know? Right. Like, what was my favorite movie um, or show? Porn. <laughs> oh, that did happen. No, I was like, um, no. <laughs> I'm trying to think of what was something I really loved that I didn't become. I mean, a lot of things. Yeah. To be honest. Okay, yeah. I, my favorite movie was, one of my favorite movies when I was a kid was Boys in the Hood. Okay, and there you go. I didn't become Doughboy. I love Set It Off. Yeah. Never robbed back in my life. Never. <laughs> okay. So anyway, so moving, moving forward in the show, they start to get a little close, y'all. And they start to get into a position where like a normal straight couple, it looking like, okay, are they about to kiss? So they doing this little slow. And I'm like, I know they ain't about to kiss. They not about to kiss. They not gonna let them kiss. I was like, something's gonna happen. It's gonna and be a boom. Saying, she was saying this, y'all, right. during the show, yeah. Like I thought a, a rat was gonna come running by, it was gonna be some kind of explosion, or a parent was gonna walk in or something. I was like, they not about to let these two little boys kiss on the show. Girl, they kissed. Not all crazy, it was just a peck, y'all. But I was very happy and uh, proud of the network or whoever decided to let this go. It had to be the network. You know what I'm saying? It, yeah. I'm very proud. That y'all did it. Mm -hmm. And fuck whoever is mad about it. Prime TV. Prime? Okay. Yeah, Prime. Amazon. Loved it. Yeah. Not like, ooh, two boys are kissing and freaky love. No. I think they know it. <laughs> I don't want anybody to think <laughs> you out like here. I'm not fantasizing over y'all. I love that they gave these kids something to relate to. That, you know, real life stuff that. Kids are going through. Mm -hmm. I like I liked it too that they're allowing children who are gay to feel normal mm -hmm. because they are normal. When I was growing up, I didn't see examples of gay women. I saw things happening on movies that I shouldn't have been looking at, but I didn't see examples of relationships. You know what I'm saying? I didn't know any gay young kids. Mm -hmm. I knew a lot of straight people. Mm -hmm. And I think I mimicked what I thought normal was by dating guys, but I really didn't feel right. You know what I mean? And I didn't really understand why. I was just like, I just don't like this. And I don't know why I don't feel my, the way my friends feel mm -hmm. about it. I think it would have been good for me to see an example of gay people, gay things, anything. You know I, what I'm saying? I wanted to say something too. Um, on television, I never saw gay stuff either. As I got older, I started seeing women, mm -hmm. relationships, things like that. But I don't see as much male relationships mm -hmm. on TV. I might see male, and I don't watch TV anymore, but I'm talking about in the last like 10, 20 years, 15 years. When I would see males, it was always you know, uh, intimacy and with different men. Mm -hmm. It wasn't relationships and I think mm -hmm. they need to stop showing that to these teenage boys who were looking and saying, oh, is this how it is to be? I'm just supposed to be messing around with this guy because that's how the, you know, society looks at them as if yep. it's just for one thing and it's not. Yep. 
they want to be in relationships. Mm -hmm. So it's good that they're showing some males yeah. that care yeah. and not just want to do, you know, what men usually want to do. <laughs> okay. I'm getting really far into this video, so I'm gonna have Tasha start with the I'm gonna start. community post. Should teens in TV shows be allowed to curse, be romantic, straight or gay, do drugs, and other adult things? Which things do you think should absolutely not be allowed and why? Comment your thoughts below. So she did a post and said, yes, they should be allowed to do it all. No, their shows should be strictly G rated or I don't care either way. 22% um, said they should be allowed to do everything. 25% said they don't care either way. And 53% said no, their shoes, their shows should be strictly G rated. Wow. I did not think it was going to be that high. For G rated. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. I think they should have some limits, y'all. Um, but I do think that they should also be able to see things that are really happening in real life, in their lives. You know what I'm saying? There, there are a lot of things that are happening in teens' lives that we try to hide and shelter them from. But it's going to, like, I, when I was in high school, I was around people that smoked weed. I didn't do it. But I was around it. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? So if nobody's ever talking to me, nobody ever talked to me about, hey, don't do this and don't do that. Mm -hmm. I could have easily just fell into that. Right. I think it's good to have an example. I think a lot of parents don't have time or feel weird about discussing certain things with their parents. So sometimes it is not bad to have certain things shown on TV. I mean, I think they have to be responsible about what, how they're doing it. Right. There's a show called Euphoria. That's based around kids and drugs. I have not seen this, so I don't want to comment on the show itself. Yeah. I do want to see that show so I can, you know, talk about that. But have you seen any of it? Yeah, and they have uh, uh, whatever her name is, the little girl. She's on drugs. And I think her friend is too. They just, they're, to me, it. I don't think it's meant to glorify drugs. And also, I have not seen the entire show either, so I don't know what it all boils down to if mm -hmm. they get to a point. But. Is it just looks like if a child is on the verge, um, or you know, or maybe doesn't even think about it, they're looking and they're seeing these people high and having fun. I don't mm. want them to associate that, you know, drugs with having a good time. So that's what she's got from she's partying and yeah, mm -hmm. not completely because, like I said, I didn't watch it. I didn't watch to the end. Maybe she ended up in the hospital, and I can't remember all of it. But I know that there is points where she's having a good time and, you know. Which is true. I mean, that is one side of it. Yeah, it is. I don't, I haven't seen it y'all, so I don't, I'm not going to I'm sure they it. show the other, other side too. I just, you know. Okay. Don't remember. All right, so we'll get into what some of you guys commented. Audrey Chats said, we can't censor what's already happening. A teen show is depicting what happens during the teen years. To try to shelter or hide that until adulthood causes more harm than any good, in my opinion. I agree to mm -hmm. some extent yeah there, there are some things i don't or would not necessarily want my kids to see mm -hmm. but i mean it is what it is i'm not that hard on it i wouldn't go banning nothing you right. know what I'm, saying? I'm not gonna go that far with it yeah i mean i think that um we pretty much um didn't allow eli now stephanie and i had different views a little bit um i didn't allow elijah to listen to cussing stuff and all that stuff until I think when he was about 12 or 13, I started to be fine with it. Stephanie still was, and she was like, I don't think he, but I was just like, nah, go ahead. I'm sure your ass is cussing. Exactly. That's something I want to say. Um, I feel like a lot of kids cuss at a very young age or whatever. I don't remember if I did or not. Mm -hmm. I learned a little differently. I did not cuss in front of my parents at all. I don't even cuss in front of them now, barely, unless I accidentally cuss. And I'll be like, ooh, you mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? It's just some, a level of respect that I feel like. I, I learned and I like, you know what I'm saying? So even if he was watching some custom shit, like I don't want him to sit here watching it with him or have him see like, or, or listen to him watching it. And I don't want to hear him, you know, I don't know. Do that shit on your own time. He did do it on his own time. No, I don't. That's what I'm saying. Oh, I'm saying yeah. That's how I feel about it. Yeah. He wasn't around here doing nothing, y'all. Mm. That's not what I was saying. Okay. Next, Transparent Me said, I'm going to go with no on this one. I feel that society is pushing our children way too fast and too far. It's to the point where it's hard to monitor the things they watch without saying no to everything. I do understand that they also see things at school and maybe around friends, but the more they see it, the more they'll copy it. Hmm. I don't think it being on TV is society pushing our kids too fast. Like, for the things that we talked about, these things really happen. People really go through this stuff. It's not like 
they're just looking at that and they're like, oh, I'm about to go kiss somebody. I don't think the TV shows are pushing people to do stuff. No. Do you? No, I think that the TV shows, the networks, they're doing what is going to make them money. They don't care about sure. Absolutely anything else. They don't care about your children copying. They don't care about no, they don't care about our kids mm -hmm. But yes, we do have to censor what our children watch because um, That's what we have to do. We have televisions that allow us to censor what they watch as well And we if well, you know how to do it, you go to their phone you, you go to the phone company and you can censor what your child is able to download and watch really yes okay. Okay. You're gonna be I feel like a kid is gonna be who they're gonna be though anyway So if they do see something and they mimic that that's because that's what they want to do anyway well, I agree with that because I saw a lot of stuff, y'all, and I didn't do it. I did yeah. what I wanted to do. Yeah. It you know? does give them ideas, though. Yeah. Well, some one th ideas that they probably would not have thought of had they not seen it. Mm -hmm. But if they want to go down a nasty road or be a nasty child or a nasty person, that's just what they're going to figure out how to be that way. Yeah, they that's may not true. do that thing that they saw, but they're going to figure out how to do something else. That's very true. I agree with that. And I think parents need to take way more responsibility for what their child is doing and how they're influenced. Because if you are close to your child and talk to them and all that, mm -hmm. I feel like they're going to listen to you before they listen to somebody they don't even know. They will. Your, your children should trust you, yep. not what they're seeing mm -hmm. some random strange stranger doing. Like, you know? Mm -hmm. Yes. Put Spend more time in your kids' lives. Or at least <laughs> talk to them. Talk to them, you know? Yeah. Christy said, hey, Steph and Tasha, love you guys. I think it depends on the platform they are on or the age range the TV shows for. Some kids are easily influenced by what they see on TV and what's reality. Okay. That's true. In the comments, y'all, I want to know, honestly, is there anybody out there that feel like their child has been influenced by something they saw on TV? And what was it? I want to know. Like, do you, do, is there something your child has done? You're like, that came from this mm -hmm. show. Yeah. Uh, Elijah's been playing, uh, video games with weapons since he was about t 10 maybe about 10 years old mm -hmm. i never hear him talk about regamar 3 when he's off the game or try he's not drawing any guns he's not over here asking for any i watch scary movies my whole life and love them i don't do scary stuff <laughs> i don't i don't do nothing scary tater top i mean tater that said, I immediately thought of Euphoria and I love the entire show. Teens are doing this and if parents fear that it is teaching real teens bad things, the parents of that household need to have those conversations. My mother guided me in a way that I knew when to remove myself from a friend group and had she not had those conversations that allowed me to ask exactly. questions, I'm certain I wouldn't have had the confidence to know I didn't have to do anything that was peer pressure. Mm -hmm. That's right. Yep. That's right. I agree. Yeah, I do too. Um, I was about to say something, y'all, but this video is getting way too long. I'm, it's about, my Let camera's about to shut off. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. This was a good conversation, though. Um, I'm sure some people are going to be mad at our opinions, but please don't. Because they can't be mad. They this is the mad. thing, y'all. Please. Everybody has the right to their own opinion. Y'all have the right to y'all's opinion. Whatever you feel about this is great. I love it, okay? Let me live. Maybe we'll keep talking Let about me this live. in a live. <laughs> okay. Until next time. Only good vibes. Peace.